Okay, so a little track in the beginning you were listening to was the Orange Super Crush. The left speaker was boosted with a SD1, and the right speaker was boosted with a Plumes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go through the amp. We're going to check out the Dirty Channel, unboosted. We're going to hit it with a couple different boosts, an Overdrive, a Muff, a Rat, maybe even a Treble Booster, just to show how well this takes pedals. Then we're going to do the Clean Channel. We're going to put some pedals on the clean channel. And depending on how long this video is, I would really like to show what the emulated direct out on the back sounds like. We're going to go ahead and get started. You have an on-off button. You have a channel selector, master volume, reverb, channel volume, treble, middle, bass, gain, treble, bass, and volume. So you only get treble and bass and volume on the clean channel. Which was how the Rocker Verb 1 was. I don't remember if the Rocker Verb 3 was the same. I think the Rocker Verb 3 was the same way. And the Rocker Verb 2, the 2 had the 3 controls. I think 1 and 3 only had 2. Anyway, so that's the clean channel. We're going to go ahead and start on the dirty. We've got the gain at about halfway. It's at noon. And all the uh, EQs are roughly at 6. Channel volume is all the way up. Didn't mean to try, check it out with the chorus, but uh, my chorus pedal was on for some reason. Here's the gain channel at noon. noon it's really good for boomer tones let's see here let's take the reverb off I have a little reverb on inside of my uh, two notes so this is gonna be double reverb we got the reverb at noon I really do like the reverb on this amp. Also, the reverb and the channels are both foot switchable from the back. Get a little orange two button switch and then you can change all that stuff. So anyway, let's back the gain down to about a quarter. See what happens. On the rock reverb, the gain at a quarter was really uh, basically nothing. Same on this amp. This amp really starts coming alive if you like a lot of gain around one or two. Let's get the gain going. Let's really crank the gain. Here we go, all the gain. Now, just like the rocker verb, when you bring up the gain, it really gets fuzzed out. And uh, it's great for like stoner. If you just want to do stoner without any pedals.
Okay, we're gonna quickly go over the EQ because the EQ on this amp doesn't do a whole lot. So we're gonna start with the treble. We're on the mids now. Go to the bass. What's cool about that EQ, it doesn't really change your amp's sound very much. It still sounds like the same amp, just you know, the frequencies change a little bit. Some amps, you start doing that and they start sounding like radically different amps, but the core tone stays intact. So we're gonna put the uh, treble and bass around six and we've got the mids boosted. Let's cut the mids. Now that we're scooped, that's a pretty good time to go ahead and switch to pedals. Let's uh, try an overdrive. SD1 is on. Bring some of those mids back. Put everything back at roughly six, which is where I like it. There we go. remember how to play that high on fire song but anyway so yeah there we are boosted with the sd1 let's go for a rat Woo. rats are noisy <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna switch to the Green Russian on the Muffaletta, then we'll do the treble booster, go to the clean channel, and see if we got enough time to do the back. This is gonna be a long video. I mean, there you go. If you want a Doom $500 amp, I, uh, get the reissue. Don't even worry about getting the muffaletta. Get the reissue from JH, uh, Electro Harmonics. Like a hundred bucks. 
600 bucks, you are dooming all day long. This is a $500 guitar. This is your $1,000 rig. We were talking about budget rigs once. Super Crush, $500, Eclipse from LTD, Green Russian Reissue, done. Now we're gonna go on to the uh, Naga Viper, which is a treble booster from Catlin Bread. <laughs> I love what a treble booster does to a, a dirty amp. Like, if only they could make it where they work better, better with buffers and they weren't so fucking noisy. Like, treble boosters are amazing. Um, time for the clean channel. So here we are, we're on the clean channel. We have the gain at noon. And the EQ is roughly also at noon. up some highs because that's pretty basic. It's pretty the bass too. So we got everything on the clean channel cranked. As you can tell, it stays clean. It's fairly clean all the way. I'm sorry, I thought I had the, the volume cranked. We have it cranked now. Now we're gonna hit this with dirty, dirty pedals. We're gonna see what happens. This is the Kuro T120. Takes that pedal very well. Now we're going to try a rat. Okay, so we're on the rat now. I brought the, uh, the filter more to the high end side towards the end because I wanted to bring up the highs. Last pedal we're gonna play on the clean side is the uh, Civil War setting on the Muffaletta.
right, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do the direct out. I have not tried this on this amp yet at all. I don't know what the direct amp is going to sound like. We'll find out though. Let's check it out. Actually, on second thought, we'll just do that in a different video because this video is already long enough as it is. So I'll do a short second video where we use the power amp. We're going to take the Kiro T120 direct into the return of the effects loop. We're going to show that and we'll show direct out with the emulated speaker out. So anyway, this I guess is part one of the Super Crush. We're going to do part two. I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, and all that stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Merchandise link in the description.